Welcome to the Story of Liberty. On this day, February 21st in 1952, a man named Jim Elliott, a missionary, arrived in Ecuador with the purpose of evangelizing the Ecuadorian Indians. It's an amazing story, and there was actually a film made about these young men. Jim Elliott, Pete Fleming, Ed McCulley, Roger Udarian, and Nate Saint, who was their pilot. All Christian missionaries, very special young men. Jim Elliott and his friends went to the jungles of Ecuador. They had sought to bring the gospel to the most primitive savage people on the face of the earth, the Akua Indians. They prepared themselves well. They even devised a method with their plane to make a tight circle to lower down to the ground all sorts of gifts in a basket to make friends with the Akua Indians. They did this for weeks at a time because the Akuas had no contact with the outside world. In fact, it was told that they killed just about every person who entered into that jungle. As time passed, these missionaries, they felt comfortable enough to land their plane on the beach or the river. At first, a couple of women came out of the jungle, then a young man, and then others. For several days, they reported that things were going well, and they gained the confidence in the friendship of the Akuas. And they hoped that they would soon be able to tell them about Jesus Christ and his gospel. Well, eventually out of the bushes they came, a horde of Akuas with eight-foot spears, and they plunged them through the bodies of these five young missionaries. On January 8, 1956, Jim Elliott was killed along with his friends, mutilated bodies that were found downstream. You know, they had guns, but they didn't use them. When the Akua men came toward them, they did not shoot. Several of the men who killed Jim and his friends became Christians later in life. One of them actually gave a testimony at a meeting and he counted on his fingers and he said, I have killed 12 people with my spear, but I did that when my heart was black. Now Jesus' blood has washed my heart clean, so I don't like that anymore. There's an amazing story of grace here about the father of one of those young men, one of those five missionaries. He was a big man, and the story goes that he said when he heard that these savages, what they had done to his son, that he decided to go to Ecuador. He was very angry, and when he got on the train, he went into that jungle to find him. He took a group of guides into that jungle and he found the particular Indian that had plunged that spear into the body of his son. The dad of one of these missionaries who was killed, he actually took hold of this man who killed his son in his arms and he said to him, in the name of Jesus, I love you. Folks, this is very close to what the grace of God is all about. It's not quite the full meaning of what the grace of God is, the amazing grace of God. But it does bring us to the fact of a greater sacrifice, even laying down of one's life. The sacrifice of giving one's own life. Jim Elliott, the great Christian martyr in Ecuador, once said, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. 
God bless you. your faces, see some old friends, it's good to be here to be able to proclaim the message of God from this platform once again. It's gone out hundreds of times and I hope that we haven't gotten over the thrill of it's going out because after all we're fulfilling a prophecy of Jesus Christ every time we preach the gospel. More than that, we ourselves